what researchers discovered was probably an incredibly easy way to get great results in getting your blood pressure back into normal range fast and safely through the use of an oral supplement called melatonin. Now here's the public release title and we'll go into the citation and more into how much they took and how it worked. Beginning, melatonin reduces blood pressure and tunes up disrupted circadian rhythms in the elderly. I, not a big fan of the word elderly because it's losing its meaning over time. Age range was between 63 to 91 years of age. Citation title, Daily Melatonin Administration Attenuates Age-Dependent Disturbances of Cardiovascular Rhythms, published this May 2016 in Current Aging Science. To go right into how the research discovered how melatonin works is as follows. 63 senior respondents of a mean age of 80 were studied during three consecutive weeks. First week control data were collected for seven successive days to determine what their blood pressure normally was at. Over the next two weeks, the seniors were administrated a low dose of melatonin, only one and a half milligrams. Now keep in mind, what you normally find on retail store shelves is about three milligrams. So for the study, it was just a low dose, one and a half milligrams. Each day by night at 10.30 p.m. on the third week data were monitored again. The researchers discovered the following. Melatonin significantly, this is their words, not mine, reduced blood pressure. The hypotensive effect was dependent on time. The maximum systolic blood pressure lowering effect of melatonin falls between 3 and 8 in the morning, the time of the highest risk of heart attacks and strokes. So melatonin seemed to work the best when it was needed the most. Nighttime and morning blood pressure decreased more profoundly on average with about eight points to three and a half points, systolic, diastolic, respectively. Moreover, 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 the higher the mean systolic blood pressure was during the first week, the more it dropped on the second week of melatonin administration, meaning the more you needed it, the better it worked. In conclusion, Melatonin can be a great value, their words again, not mine, of great value for aged people suffering from hypertension as an adjuvant substance complementing basic medication as it is able to stabilize circadian blood pressure. Now keep in mind, you always work with your medical professional, especially in something as serious as this. Now there's also another caveat. Beta blockers, a form of blood pressure medication, tend to disrupt melatonin production in the body. So hopefully future, in the future, actually hopefully in the near future, researchers work out this conflict, how a certain blood pressure medication lowers your melatonin levels, but melatonin is required to maintain normal blood pressure. Again, let's see what research discovers on that in the next few weeks, years, or whatever. Again, this is Ralph Turciano signing off, and I look forward to seeing you all, y'all, again in the next seven days or so. Catch you all, and I hope you find this information helpful as usual. See you then.